workshop will be starting very soon. Right. Final reminder, please mute your microphones and turn off your cameras. All right, and a few reminders before we begin our event. Um, this program was funded by IRCC and we humbly thank our funder for their continued support. And we have a few reminders before we begin. Please do mute your microphone and turn off your camera. No abusive language will be tolerated. Do not post any personal or private information in the chat box. Please save any and all questions until the end. And an evaluation link will be provided at the end of this workshop. So please do uh, fill out that evaluation. Your feedback does help us to improve the quality of our workshops. Uh, a warm welcome to everyone and good evening. This is another employment event at Immigrant Services Calgary. My name is Carla Ning and I will be your event organizer for the day. I also would like to issue a special warm welcome to those of us who are joining through the Facebook Live feature of this event. So thank you so much for joining us live. And I also want to welcome those of you who have decided to join us through Zoom so that you can participate through our with our Q&A. Today we're going to be talking about retraining and education. This is often the par a part of our journey uh, when we are changing our careers and coming to Canada as newcomer professionals. So we are going to be learning about the educational opportunities at Bow Valley College from our very special guest speaker, Caitlin. Caitlin is a student recruitment specialist at Bow Valley College who has a passion for guiding students in their learning journey. Caitlin, the floor is now yours. Thank you, Carlin. All right, I'm just going to share my screen here and then we're going to get started. All right, so I guess we determined 5.30 p.m. is evening, so good evening. As Carlin introduced me, my name is Caitlin Sproul, and I'm a student recruitment specialist with Bow Valley College. I am here today to talk to you about some opportunities for your future and to help you figure out if Bow Valley College is a good fit for the needs and the goals that you have. Um, I understand that people come to Bow Valley College with all different levels of education. Um, we have students who have not completed high school, um, maybe only went up to level maybe grade eight, and we have students who have completed master's degrees. So across the board, we're seeing people of all different levels and who have the same goal, and that might be reskilling, upskilling, coming into um, a new career, and I'm going to talk about all the different programs that we offer at Bow Valley College that will meet those different goals that you might have. Now, I am going to be covering a lot of information in this presentation. Um, if there is anything I've mentioned this evening that will catch your interest, you can connect with me after the presentation. I'm going to be giving my contact information on the screen, but also Carlin is a great person to connect with to get my information. We can book one-on-one -on -one advising appointments if you have some specific questions. And really, my job is to help get you that information that you're looking for and to make sure things are as crystal clear as possible. Our agenda today is going to cover our academic upgrading and English language learning programs, along with our post-secondary programs, which include certificates, diplomas, post-diploma certificates, micro-credentials, and our new Center for Entertainment Arts programs. So let's get started. With all presentations, it's really important that we begin with a land acknowledgement. And I like to talk about why we do this so that we understand why we do it. Now, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada, TRC, was created to inform all Canadians about what happened in residential schools. The truth part of Truth and Reconciliation has been to document the truth of survivors, their families, communities, and anyone who has been personally affected by the residential school experience. There are many different things that we can all do to be a part of reconciliation, and one of those things is to acknowledge the traditional keepers of this land. So therefore, I acknowledge that Bow Valley College sits, sits on the ancestral home of the Indigenous peoples of Treaty 7 territory. All right, so there are a few things that you may not know about Bow Valley College, so I'm going to introduce who we are and then what we offer. So Bow Valley College is Calgary's only community college. 
There are lots of colleges in Calgary. If you just search college online, you're going to see a whole bunch of different results. But the majority of these colleges in Calgary are private colleges. I understand that in many countries around the world, private schools are actually considered to be very prestigious with better quality education. In Canada, this doesn't always mean the same thing as that. So the public education system in Canada is robust, it's well funded, and it's also managed on a province by province basis. The public education system in Canada, it was, it, like there's some elements within the public system uh, that can vary slightly province to province based on that provincial management. But that being said, education is overseen by the federal government and they ensure that education standards remain consistently high across all of Canada. So as Bow Valley College is a public community college, this means that we are able to meet the government of Alberta's high standards of program quality while still maintaining some of the most affordable tuition rates in the province. So this debunks the myth that private doesn't necessarily mean that the education is better. Another thing about Bow Valley College is that we offer career support for life. So whether you are a student and maybe you're in your first term of your program, or maybe you have graduated three years ago and you're an alumni looking to apply to a new job, you are going to have that career support. So you're going to have access to supports for things like job searching through our career services department. They have a job board where organizations and businesses in Calgary are actively reaching out to us and letting us know what new opportunities they have for our students and graduates. And also to prepare for those jobs, we will support you with preparing your resume and getting ready for interviewing. So again, as a student and as an alumni, you have access to that support. And our main goal is that we're committed to getting you work ready as fast as possible. So our one and two year post-secondary programs mean that you get the education you need without any of the filler courses that you typically see in like universities, for example. Um, so you're getting hands-on training and experiential learning, which is built into our curriculum. And this means that you are ready for your career upon graduation. Now, before I jump into the certificate and diploma programs that we offer, I want to first talk about the ways that you can meet the academic and English language proficiency requirements of, of these post-secondary programs. So we offer all of the high school core courses in our academic upgrading program. So this includes English language arts, includes math, social studies, all of the sciences, as, along with computer courses and Aboriginal studies. So we see students enroll in our academic upgrading courses, maybe because they want to complete high school classes in order to apply to a post-secondary program. So maybe, for example, social work, you want to become a social worker. The academic requirement for this program is grade 12 level English language arts, but maybe you only completed that course at a grade 10 or 11 level, or maybe you never took a course like that at all. Well, don't worry, we offer that course so that we're able to get you ready to apply to social work and to be qualified for entering that program and to then be successful in the program because you're meeting the academic requirements. Now, most of our programs at Bow Valley College don't require a completed high school diploma, but there are specific courses that we are looking for to meet the admission requirements, which typically are English language arts and math. So we'll talk a little bit more about how you can figure out which classes you need to take. So once you have applied to the academic upgrading program, you will be able to work with an academic advisor to pick your classes with your long term career goal in mind. So, for example, maybe you want to study business administration, which, unlike the social work diploma, also requires math along with the English language arts. So if you know, OK, maybe I actually do meet the English language arts requirement, but I didn't do well in my math course or the grade just isn't what the admission, admissions officers are looking for. Don't worry, we can have we have the option for you to take math, so you'll be able to meet that academic requirement and then again be successful for entering the program. Now the length of time that upgrading may take it depends on what level of high school you have previously completed or what level that you are placed into if you have to write our upgrading placement test. 
and also it depends on what your career goal is. So for some people, this might be one term of upgrading classes, but for others, it could be three terms, for example. So it, it's dependent on a few factors. And how much does the academic upgrading courses cost? This is another popular question we get. The upgrading courses do have a cost to them in Alberta. So each upgrading class is around $715. And we understand that this is pricey and to help offset those costs, if you are eligible for funding through the Government of Alberta Learner Income Support, there is that funding available for those who apply and qualify for that funding. And with our up academic upgrading program, we have three start dates every year. So that's January, May, and September. And each term is four months long. And these classes are offered typically both in person and online. So if you want to learn from a distance, you do have that option available. All right, now let's talk about English language learning and the programs that we offer to improve your skills with English as an additional language. So I'm assuming many of you are probably familiar with the LINK program. Um, it is a term that I can just say LINK and a lot of people will understand already what I'm talking about. For anyone who has not heard of LINK before, it stands for Language Instruction for Newcomers to Canada. And don't be fooled by the term newcomer. That doesn't mean you have to have come here very, very recently. Really what that means is if you were new to Canada at any point in your life and you are a permanent resident or a convention refugee who have Canadian language benchmark scores between two and eight, then you are eligible to join our LINK programs. You'll see on the screen here, oh, just a reminder to mute your microphone. Thank you. Oh. We're getting a little interference, Caitlin. All right. Sounds like that's gone. All right. So on the screen here, you're going to see the different link options that we offer. So we have part time, full time for people who don't live in Calgary. We have a regional link program um, for those who have slightly higher scores. We have an online link program. There's many different options. Now, all of these programs, the link programs are free as they are funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. And we also have options for teenagers and young adults who have not completed high school and also for adults who maybe have completed high school but do not have strong skills in the English language. So if you're unsure about which program is the best fit for you, then someone like myself is a great person to talk to and we can help figure out which is the best option for you to apply to. Now, again, just some more admission requirements here, which we talked about. So benchmark score is between two and eight, and you are a permanent resident or convention refugee. And we would need to see either your CLB placement test results, um, or if you have been taking a link program at a different institution, then you would show us your certificate. But regardless, we are going to need to see um, the assessment and referral letter from CLARC, the Calgary Language Assessment and Referral Center. So I've put the phone number for the assessment center on the screen here, but if later, again, you're not maybe remembering the number or wasn't, you weren't sure about which organization it was, connect with me, connect with Carlin, we can get you that information. Now we also offer a full-time English language learning program, and this also includes English for academic purposes. So the full-time English language learning program has a, a practical pathway and an academic pathway. And this is for permanent residents, convention refugees, and also Canadian citizens who have CLB scores between three and eight. Now, many people who are wanting to choose the full-time English language learning program in maybe not LINK, it's so that they can apply for government funding. So the LINK program, it's free as it is funded by the government, but there's no additional funding to cover living allowances. So if you have um, a goal where you're wanting to have funding and support from the government for your tuition and living allowances, then you would apply for funding and have that assessed by the government to see if you're eligible. 
and our English for Academic Purposes program provides learners with the strategies and English language skills needed to succeed in academic courses at Canadian post-secondary institutions. So this is for students who know they want to go to college or university, but their CLB scores are not quite there, and they want to be prepared for learning with through reading, writing, listening, and speaking at a post-secondary level. So this program would include activities like using technology to learn, you'd be interacting and working with others in post-secondary classes, you would be setting school and maybe career goals, and also developing further cross-cultural communication skills. So there are three levels to our English for Academic Purposes program, and once you're accepted into the program, we will place you into one of those levels based on an assessment test that you will write. So. Again, these are all very quick summaries of these programs. There are, there's a lot more information I can give you, but if any of these interest you, you can connect with me and that's where we would go more in depth on a case by case basis. Now, I want to talk to you a bit more about what opportunities await you at Bow Valley College after you have completed academic upgrading or English language learning, or maybe that's not a path you need to take and you're ready to apply to a certificate or a diploma program. So on my screen now, what you are seeing are the two main credentials that we offer. So certificates, which are detailed on the left, they prepare people for entry level positions and they're typically two terms of study. The diplomas, which are detailed on the right side here, provide a fuller scope of learning and almost all of our diploma programs are transferable to a degree program at universities in Alberta, um, outside of Alberta, across Canada and even internationally. And the diploma programs can be four terms and sometimes six terms of study. And all of our certificate and diploma programs offer work integrated learning opportunities. So this might be a capstone project where you'd be working with a group of students on a project for an employer in your industry. Um, it might look like a work experience or practicum placement where you are getting paid to work at a business or organization related to the program you're studying. So that way you're applying the theory and knowledge you've learned in the classroom into a real world, real world setting. Okay, I am going to talk about our new Center for Entertainment Arts. It's really exciting. It's the first of its kind in Alberta and we are preparing students to work in the really in-demand field of film and television production in Alberta. So on the slide right now, what you're seeing are a whole bunch of movie and TV posters, which are examples of films and TV shows that instructors in our new Center for Entertainment Arts programs have worked on. So Bow Valley College has launched our new Center for Entertainment Arts, which we also call CEA for short. And what we've seen is that Calgary's film industry continues to grow. And this means that there are going to be opportunities for Albertans across related industries like video game development and digital design. And CTV News actually recently reported that Fortress Studio has opened a huge production facility in Calgary to accommodate the city's booming film and TV production industry. And Calgary has been named one as one of the top places to live and work as a movie maker in 2021 and 2022 as of as has been researched and declared by Movie Maker Magazine. So this is a really extremely important time for this industry in Alberta because Alberta has made it easier for production companies from the United States to come and film here. So this allows for big budget series such as The Ghostbusters, which was filmed in Drumheller, and also The Last of Us, which has been filming in downtown Calgary over the last half year. And we're only going to continue to see more of this happening. So there are many major studios and streamers that are greenlit for production in Alberta in 2021. And we have collaborated with the Center for Entertainment Arts to offer programs to prepare students to get these in-demand jobs. Now I'm going to talk about the programs that we offer in our CEA. So first is a foundations certificate. And this is a program that is meant to prepare you for the advanced diploma programs in animation, in visual effects, or game design. So with all of the programs and applications for the Center for Entertainment Arts, we require a portfolio of artwork because to get into these technical programs, we are needing to see that you have some understanding of color theory. Um, maybe you've done some drawing, you understand how shading works, things like that. So maybe you took 
arts class in high school, or maybe you're self-taught, it's a hobby that you have. And after work, you like to come home and for self-care, maybe you like to do some painting or work with clay to sculpt things. That is really awesome. But we see some people who are interested in this career, uh, maybe they have worked in a different industry and have thought, I really want to change my career. And this sounds really interesting, but I never studied art. What do I do? Well, this foundation certificate is a program meant to prepare you for those advanced diplomas, like I mentioned. So in this program, you would be building skills in the areas of sketching, drawing, sculpting. You would be developing your photography skills, learning about color theory. You would be painting, and you would also be introduced to the software Maya, which is heavily used in the advanced diploma programs. So this is a pathway, like I've said, for those who need to develop those artistic skills. So let's say you have had an artistic background and your interest in art has prepared you to be able to apply for the advanced diploma programs. Let's talk about what those programs are. So first up is the advanced 3D animation and 3D modeling. And what you're going to see on my screen here is examples of what 3D animation and 3D modeling is. So think about different animated movies you've seen. And for me, the first ones that typically come to mind are Marvel movies. So I'm thinking about the Avengers and a character like Thanos. Thanos isn't real. There was no actor that is Thanos. Essentially, it's a character they have created using digital technology. So someone who has skills in both art and technology has created this 3D animated character. And so even what you see on the screen here, they have a picture of a man, but then they have created him into like this 3D animated character. So this program is teaching students how to do this. So you would be learning different things like 3D animation for creating characters and for creating creatures. And you would be learning different things like the fundamentals of storytelling through acting and visual composition. You would be learning about rigging, which is when, um, in, when a character is moving and all of their joints have to move to make it feel like it's real that is called rigging. So someone's job is to sit there at a computer and use their skills and the technology they have to make a character come to life through the way that they move. And that gets paid a lot of money because it takes a lot of skill to do that. And this program is going to teach you how to do those things. Now, next up is an advanced visual effects diploma program. So now again, if I used Marvel and the Avengers as an example. So visual effects is a little more obvious because I think when I when we think of visual effects, we think of explosions and fire, but it's also things like rain or sweat on a character's face. Um, it's all of those little details which set the scene of an animated movie or even in a, a not animated movie, there still are things that happen like explosions that have to be created digitally because on sets for TV and movies, they can't always just go blow things up. So and a visual effects program, such as the one we are offering, is going to be teaching students the numerous specializations in visual effects. So again, that does include some similar things to 3D animation, like modeling and sculpting, but also it's more about texturing and surfacing. So even the way like a character's clothes look, and if there is texture on that, they will have to create that. And things like lighting, and creating shadows and all of that. Anything that is an effect in a scene, a visual effects artist creates that. So you would be learning all of these skills in our visual effects program. And all of the creative and artistic and technical skills learned in this program will serve as a foundation for the challenging roles in visual effects in the games industries. And then thirdly is an advanced game development program. So if we have any people here tonight watching or watching later who love playing video games, then maybe you would also love making video games. This is really exciting because you are able to learn all of game development's core dis uh, disciplines. So this includes art, design, programming, and production. So you would be learning a little bit of programming in C-sharp um, as part of this program, along with the artistic things like visually what you're seeing, but then also some elements like game design theory and um, things like game feel and player psychology. Like why does the player choose path A versus path B? 
All of this are things that students will learn in this program and students will also be introduced to virtual reality, augmented reality and mixed reality and you would be creating various assignments, projects and games that will be assembled into a portfolio that is fit for working in the video games industry. And I have mentioned that with our programs, we really integrate uh, work integrated learning into our curriculum because we want you to get that hands on experience to apply what you've learned in the classroom. So specifically to our CEA programs, um, as of your second term, you can work at a studio that CEA has a partnership with. And this could be physically in Calgary or it could even be remote from Vancouver. Uh, but essentially you would apply for a placement and you would be paid. So that's anywhere from $20 an hour to $50 an hour, depending on your skill level, the studio and the position and you would be able to work up to 20 hours a week while being a student. So this is fantastic because you can get professional credits for any work that you do in your placement. And really you're seeing what a production pipeline looks like and getting experience with all those different areas. And again, this is really making you prepared for entering your career upon completion of the program and graduating. And Soon we will be uh, launching a advanced film production program. Um, I think it's actually going to be fall 2023. It's a little bit delayed, but we're excited for when that happens. And admission requirements, I did mention the portfolio. Um, so we do require a completed high school diploma or equivalency for this for these programs. So if that's something you need to work towards, then like I said, we have academic upgrading and there's ways to get that requirement. And then also because these are art based programs, we need to see a portfolio of your artwork to see where your technical skill lies and also to get to know your personality a little bit. So for that one year foundation certificate, the portfolio requires five to 10 pieces but for the advanced diplomas we're looking at 15 to 20 pieces and then all of our programs do require english language proficiency requirements and for most for all programs the english language arts 30-1 or 30-2 course will meet that requirement but if not um, we accept clb scores with an eight in each strand and there's other ways to meet the requirements too like taking a duolingo language test or maybe an ielts academic test and other things as noted on the screen here all right so now i'm going to talk about the rest of the programs that we offer so we divide our programs into four major schools at bow valley college we have a, a two school of business as you see on the screen we have a school of community studies a school of technology and a school of health and wellness and the first one i'm going to talk about today is our two school of business so there are six certificate programs and two diploma programs to choose from within our school of business so maybe you might be interested in starting your own business, or maybe you might want to pursue a career in financial services or accounting. Um, maybe you might want to build your administrative skills to work in a medical or hospital setting. Um, we offer all of these different programs to get you the skills needed um, as quickly as possible to begin working in these different areas. So we have many different business specializations to choose from. So all of what you see on the screen here under business administration, those are the different majors that we offer. So these are really great programs. Business administration is a very popular one um, because in year one, you would do general business courses. And then in year two, you would do the core courses specific to the major that you're choosing. So I know things like insurance and risk management, that doesn't sound the most interesting, but really it's a great career to go into where you are set up for success, you have a niche area that you know exactly what you're looking for. And again, we're able to support you with finding that job. Next is our School of Community Studies. And this is a great area for people who really enjoy working in their community and who feel passionate about helping other people. So we have six diploma programs and two certificate programs within our School of Community Studies. And one of our most popular programs is the Social Work Diploma. Now with social work, it's important that you're applying as soon as possible. And the applications open 13 months in advance of the program starting. So for example, this August 2nd is when the applications will open for the September 2023 intake. Now I know that's quite a ways in advance, but that's something you have to be aware of when programs like social work and practical nursing um, open up because 
there are a lot of people that want those seats in those programs. So um, other programs here like early childhood education development, we offer both as a certificate and as a diploma. So maybe you might have a level one certification of the child it's early child educator uh, with Alberta Human Services, and maybe you want to be a worker in a like a child care setting, then this is a great way to get that certification and you it, it's certified with the government, so then you know that you're able to work in these environments. And then maybe you already have your level two and you want to go for that level three and to work as a supervisor in a child care setting. Then we have the, uh, the early childhood education development diploma to meet that need. And so you'd be able to get that credential with us and then get it certified with the government and be able to start working. And if anyone here already works in a day home, um, we have students who actually use their own day homes as the placement for the practicums for these programs. So don't let that stop you. If you are working and want to continue your education, there are ways that we can make that work with you. Next is our School of Health and Wellness. And these are the programs that we have within this. So whether you want to be a licensed practical nurse, or maybe you want to be a registered pharmacy technician or a healthcare aide, we have all of those programs. And as a part of that, we have learning labs, which are modeled after hospital and community care settings. And our students also get the opportunity to learn through virtual reality experiences, along with the tr traditional clinical experiences. So it's pretty cool. You're able to, within the classroom, put on a VR headset and be immersed in a world where you can apply some of those skills you're learning in the classroom, but it's safe because there's no like real human there to be practicing your newly learned skill on. But after you develop that, you're able to go towards your clinical placement and be supervised under a registered nurse and be getting that real world experience to prepare you for your job upon graduating. And I have mentioned one of our most popular programs in addition to social work is the practical nurse diploma program. And this is a great pathway for people who either maybe were educated internationally. So if you were um, educated as a registered nurse outside of Canada, we actually have a pathway where you can join our PN program. Uh, it's called Practical Nurse for Internationally Educated Nurses. So that's where we would need to see proof of the completion of that degree, along with a copy of your RN license. It can be expired. That is not a problem. We just need to see that you held that license at some point. And that's a really great way to get that credential and become uh, like registered here in Canada. And then also we see many students who will complete the practical nurse program with us and then will continue on and work towards becoming a registered nurse. So that means continuing with the university after um, completing the diploma program with us. So it's really, really cool. A lot of the students we see even will start from academic upgrading and we have seen people go on to become lawyers. Um, we see students who have big career goals and Bow Valley College is a great way to step into that world and start taking the steps towards meeting that big goal. Um, so small steps are big moves. Now our School of Technology, this is where we offer programs to meet both the creative and data-driven industries in Canada and around the world. So with Inner School of Technology, we have two programs that focus on the creative side, that's digital design and interior decorating. And for example, graduates of the digital design program will learn to design and produce digital and print media content. So this might be stuff for websites, it could be e-publications or applications and other types of uh, multimedia products for public, nonprofit and corporate clients. And then we have these two programs that focus on the technical side. So that's ITS and software development. And for example, students in the software development program will learn the fundamentals of computer logic and get a, a solid foundation in applying programming skills in a variety of situations. Now earlier, I did say that we have two main credentials, which are certificates and diplomas. Well, I'm also going to drop another one on you now here. It's a post-diploma certificate. So these programs require students to have completed a diploma or a degree in a related area. And this is why I say they don't fall under our main credentials. 
Now, a post diploma is a college level credential acquired by individuals who are wishing to update their skills, maybe someone who wants to learn a new technology, or if you're interested in learning the management side of the industry that you're in. This is a higher level of certification that can help you achieve a career change. Maybe you're looking for a promotion in the area that you're already working in, or maybe you just want to improve your knowledge of your industry in as little as eight months. So maybe you might have completed a bachelor's degree, but you don't feel career ready. Uh, maybe you immigrated to Canada and you want a Canadian credential, or maybe you are just wanting to change careers. We offer six different post-diploma certificates to allow you to move to the next step in your career or to focus on a high demand area. And for example, that's things like cybersecurity or cloud computing. Um, these programs are built to be adapted and the courses keep up with the industry. So you would know that by taking one of these programs, you'll be given the up to the moment skills that you can use right now and beyond. To be considered for a post diploma certificate, in most cases, you will need to have completed a minimum of a two year academic program, like a diploma. However, equivalencies based on a combination of work experience and education may be assessed on a case by case basis for applicants only. And I've put some details on the screen here, but this is a little bit challenging to read through. Um, essentially, what you're seeing here, again, it's that combination of previous education and possibly for some programs like data management analytics and cloud computing we do need to see some math at a grade uh, 12 level and then for some programs like i said we can do equivalencies and all of this will require english language proficiencies as well so if you have specific questions about one of these areas that's where you can connect with me later and we can talk about that specifically so on this screen here you are seeing continuing learning and micro credentials. So we are excited to announce the launch of micro credentials. At Bow Valley College, we know that continued learning means gaining the knowledge or upskilling into that new role or project that you're focusing on. So you can continue your educational path with us with one of our micro credential courses. And these are single subject courses that are focused on a specific skill. So these have all had industry consultations in their creation. So this means that people in the tech industry have identified that these uh, skills are in demand and in need. So these types of courses, micro credentials, are a quick and flexible way to get those skills to boost you to the next step. So they're really great for those who are looking to add to an existing knowledge and um, or add to their ex existing knowledge and experience. And again, if you're wanting to really focus on a specific skill. The micro credentials are not about the time spent learning, but rather we focus on measuring competency and comprehension. So we want to know where are you at? Where have your, where do you already have skills within these areas? Where do you need to build your skills? How do we help you make sure that you are ready to complete this micro credential and to start applying that into your work? So where applicable? Micro credentials can be stacked together and applied towards programs that award a certificate, a diploma, or a post diploma credential. And essentially, there aren't any prerequisites for these micro credential courses. Um, they are meant to reskill and upskill. So, this means it's for people who have some background experience and or training in these areas. And people with no background in these areas could potentially take it, but they may struggle. And I wanted to show you a slide specifically for our current technology micro credentials. Again, may I just remind everyone to have your microphone muted, please. Thank you. Um, so all of these credentials that you'll see on the screen here, like I said, they are technology based ones, and these are all launching soon. So many of them have start dates for June and July. Um, some of them will be later in the fall, as we expect them to arrive later this year, but they will be offered monthly or bi monthly once they start. So we are seeing a lot of demand for cloud based programming. So this is um, cloud applications. Um, again, lots of information on the screen, a lot of AWS certifications as well. So if you are a tech person, and you really want to focus your skills in some of these areas that you see on screen, um, these micro credentials are a really great way to build your skill, or maybe to just enhance the skill that you already have. Um, and then employers who are looking for 
um, employees who have that very specific skill, you will be trained and ready for those jobs. I always do like to talk about university transfer opportunities because we have agreements with many different institutions. Now, I know some people are just looking for a certificate or a diploma. You want to just get working as soon as possible and going for a four-year education doesn't really sound like something you want to do. And that is great because at Bow Valley College, we have those one-year and two-year credentials. But also some people have longer-term goals and maybe... One I've heard is someone say, I want to become a detective. Okay, well, there's not a program at Bow Valley College that allows you to become a detective. But what we can do is we offer a program called Justice Studies. And that is an area that you can get a job working as a police officer or RCMP officer. And then that is something, it's experience that's needed one day when you become a detective. So maybe you want to transfer to a university after and you would go to an institution that accepts our justice studies diploma and those completed credits would transfer to the program you're taking at the university. And then you're just continuing your education to get that next higher level credential. So I have a few examples on the screen here. These are, are some of our more popular options uh, because I have mentioned social work and practical nursing are our two most popular programs. So we have agreements with the University of Calgary for their Bachelor of Social Work uh, degree. And then also for those wanting to continue on to get their RN license after completing the LPN program, um, we have an agreement with Athabasca University for their post LPN Bachelor of Nursing program. There are many more transfer agreements that we have, but I've just kept it short and sweet for this slide. We offer many different types of services for students because we want to help you succeed as a student, and these are all free to you. So things like career and employment support, which we've already talked about. Um, you're going to have lots of support with financial aid advising if you want to know what scholarships and grants and bursaries you're able to apply for. Um, if you need counseling because things are pretty tough and you need some emotional support. We offer that at Bow Valley College. And also we have students who may have different types of learning disabilities. And maybe you need extra supports with things like extra time for completing your essay, uh, your sorry, your final exams and things like that. Um, all of these things on the screen are areas that we provide supports to students. Uh, we also specifically have an Indigenous Student Support Center, which is the Inecocon Center. And this is here to support students, uh, Indigenous students, through things like elder support and advising, ceremonial smudging, spiritual resources. Um, they have culturally relevant speakers, and it's a space for advocacy for First Nations band and Métis educational sponsorship and funding, and it's a gathering space to study as well. So if we have any um, Indigenous perspective students with us today or down the road, I've put my colleague April Bellegarde's contact information on the screen here. And again, please connect with me if you would like me to connect you with her directly. I have talked a bit about admission requirements. We'll just go over that one more time. Now, all of our programs will have academic and English proficiency requirements. So I did mention that the only programs that require a completed high school diploma are the Center for Entertainment Arts programs, but then also the Pharmacy Technician Diploma. That's it. Um, but I, a lot of people are surprised when I, when I say that. So I try to say that dramatically. That's it. Um, so other than those programs, students will be accepted into programs with a grade 11 or grade 12 English language arts course, like I mentioned before, plus sometimes other courses like math or biology or chemistry. It depends on the program. Um, if you've taken these courses at previous post-secondary uh, education, like maybe you've already taken a course like English composition, then that would be assessed as an equivalency to the academic requirement of English 30. We also see many mature learners choosing to take the route of an admissions test. And this is if they don't meet the academic requirements of a program. So the admissions test, it's made up of an English and a math test. And the English test is testing for reading comprehension and it will have a short essay component. And the math test is all multiple choice, assessing for things like algebra, some statistical questions, and general math questions. Um, so the test is in place to see where you place in accordance to the Alberta High School curriculum. And it's for people who maybe, again, you're not meeting 
fully meeting the academic requirements. So programs that require grade 12 English and math must then receive an admissions test result that is equivalent to these grades in order to be accepted into the program. And then for English language proficiency requirements, um, I did mention before there are different ways to meet those requirements. So it could be taking English 30-1 or dash two, or possibly writing an IELTS exam, a Duolingo test, or if you've completed LINK, English language learning, and you have a score, CLB score of eight, that will meet the requirements for most programs. And the admissions process, it is non-competitive. So most universities have competitive admissions, which means they are prioritizing those who have the highest grades. But at Bow Valley College, we want education to be as accessible as possible. So we have a first qualified, first accepted basis. So as long as you've met the program minimum requirements and there are still seats available, then you will be accepted into the program. And our, many of our programs do fill up quite early, so please, or they fill up quickly, so we encourage you to apply as early as possible. And if you were educated internationally, we also do accept IQOS or WES assessments for meeting the admission requirements. Um, within our admissions team, we have some foreign credential evaluators who specialize in evaluating international transcripts and assessing their equivalency to the Alberta curriculum. And this slide details the application process. It's done through applyalberta.ca uh, and involves and requires you needing an Alberta student number and a My Alberta digital ID account. And if you want support with creating these and making your profile and applying to the, uh, to the program of your choice, then either you can come into campus and we can support you face to face, or you can book an advising appointment where through a phone call or a Microsoft Teams appointment, we can support you with your application. And the majority of our programs, like the post-secondary programs, have a application fee of $75. All right, scholarships, bursaries. Um, we have almost $1 million in awards and bursaries to give away every year. Some of these are just for high school students, but also some are for Indigenous students or for those who are facing financial challenges, which are barriers to being able to complete their education. Uh, so our financial aid team has advisors who are able to book appointments with prospective students to provide them with information about the financial aid opportunities available to them. Um, so the advising can be much more specific once you are accepted as a student, but still prospective students can have some preliminary advising. And also they host uh, regularly occurring student loan information sessions where you can learn more about how that process works if you're interested. And we do have a tuition incentive. So as of July of next, oh, this year, actually this July, Bow Valley College will draw at random one individual from a pool of individuals who have submitted an application for admission to a Bow Valley College post-secondary program on or before June 30th of this year. So this would be if you're going to, you've applied to a program that will start in this fall, next year, winter, or spring, summer of next year. So the tuition incentive is that because you've applied, um, you will, and if you are chosen as the winner, Bow Valley College would waive the cost of your first academic term of tuition um, in the Bow Valley College post-secondary program. And this would be up to a maximum of $1,000 in tuition and Bow Valley College mandatory non-instructional fees. So I just wanted to put that out there. This slide here, just some general information. That's our the link to our website. Um, please go visit if any of this has interested you and you want to take a look a little deeper. But then I've put the recruiting email address and our phone number here. The phone number is really great if you have just a quick question like maybe, you know, I would like to know when is the next start date for um, disability studies and we'll give you a quick answer. But if you do want a bit more of an in-depth conversation uh, based around how do I apply, um, here are my previous educational, like here's my background and how do I get towards the goal that I have for myself, things like that, I would really encourage that you send us an email so that we could book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with you and actually chat about this to make sure that everything is as clear as possible and to give you the support that you need because really my job and my goal is to support you in the goals and dreams that you have and through the knowledge that I have of Bow, Bow Valley College and the processes in place, I'm going to help you take that next step 
into your educational journey. So that is the presentation that I have for you today. Um, I'm going to open it up to see if there's any questions here. Thank you so much for such an informative and interesting presentation. I think I learned something new and I'm sure the audience has learned something new. So guys, it is now time. Okay, so you can put your questions in the chat box or if you'd like, feel free to raise your hand. We'll call on you. You can turn on your camera. Um, Manakshi, do you wanna turn off the Facebook Live and bye-bye yes. Facebook audience. Yes, can you say bye to Facebook Live audience? <laughs> Thank you for attending. Well Thank you.